Good? Yeah. Okay, try getting your elbow way back this time. Before you, just, just before you do the forward. Just, just the instant before. Like that, way back. Up. Way up here. Way up. There, yeah. Close it, uh, stretch it back like this. Stretch it back, this is all the chicken wings. Right? Yeah, this, this goes back, this goes back. This is up. I call it the chicken wing effect. Samples as a huge wing. This is back, pointing up, causing the ball. Chicken wing effect. <laughs> it will definitely go straight the same, the same rhythm. Yeah, you, no, try it now, slow motion. Slow motion. No, no, don't even. Don't do. No. Okay. There it is. See? Back. Zero. Zero. This, this could actually be like this. Up higher. Yeah, I mean, right above my head. Sometimes, some there's some players at the very they, they see the racket. Because you're looking straight up. Look it up. So that's the classic. So you can see it go actually in the racket right above your head coming down? Sometimes see like this. Oh. So you can see the racket. Now you can see it like this. Right? You can see it. Then you're, you always got to think, you got to think of the balls coming in from this direction. Now it's coming back down. So you're going to think of stroking, punch, punches straight up at the ball. And if you can get the elbow high, you can get the elbow high like this, when you're doing your little jump. That'll give you the, uh, the potential energy to get the maximum speed. But it's not really necessary to do it. You don't have to do any jumping. You just go like this above this and up. Well, if I don't do any jumping, I kind of feel like my ball will definitely go flatter. I don't know why. If, if I don't do the jumping, my ball will just go flat. Uh, it doesn't, if you don't do any jumping, get under the ball, you stroke it straight up, when you start coming up, the back is going to have to go upwards. Up. Remember when I was showing you the picture of Joseph? Sort of he got way into the ball. And put the, so when he was stroking, he would stroke straight up so much that he impacted the ball. Sometimes so it would just be like a skim. So you skim across like this. If he has a wrist laid back, it's flat, it's skim across. So if it's going up a minute at the very last second, you also can put it down like this. So that's where the acceleration, pop acceleration will come down here. So if you can punch like this body, if you punch. I'm doing that the very best. So I'm gonna relax and I go like this. And then I pull down. So when you do your punch, you know what's happening? So, so you can do this punch slower while you're jumping up. Not the, the jump, push it up, and pop, pop it up. Pull down. Pull down action is the exact same action I told you. The racket, your arm is going like this. You want to straighten up this racket. Straighten it up because you're pulling your body, you're pulling down, you're pulling away from the stage. You're pulling away, you pull away, you toss the racket straight up. And then you also toss it. You're a natural pronation. So you want to have a natural pronation and a serve, same way as you're pulling. Same way as you're pulling. That one I use the, the more of the popping. Because yes. I can feel it. I can feel the, the just the rocket goes the straight down. But it, sometimes when I'm too tense, like I, I, I was doing this while you were explaining to me, and I feel like my hand got loose. Right. But so when you want some your wrist loose, it gives your shoulder, yeah. the shoulder loose. The whole thing. When I took the best, the shoulders 
it's, it feels like I could actually do like a American serve really easy because I'm snapping the whole arm. So I'll take the arm whip. Get the arm whip proper. You do some ground whip, you get the arm whip, and then also get the wrist whip. And later on, you can add the elbow whip. And you've already had the elbow, but your bent elbow is going to really whip you. You feel like a muscle. That's my mistake. I just want to add some muscle on it. When, I, when the whipping can do the, the actual same thing, probably. Yeah, yeah, it'll do quicker, faster if you, if you learn how to do the whip. But you're gonna have to eliminate. You're gonna have to eliminate some extra. You got some extra muscle fibers that are slowing it down.